ready to take your presentation design to the next level? I often see these beautifully designed interactive presentations and I'm amazed when I find out they're just PowerPoint slides. So how do they do it? I'm gonna show you with a show-stopping PowerPoint trick that looks more impressive than it is difficult with merge shapes. There are five different ways to merge shapes, text, and images inside PowerPoint with union, combine, fragment, intersect, and subtract. And today I'm gonna to walk you through each one of those and how to implement it into your next presentation. So where exactly is this Merge Shapes feature in PowerPoint? Let me show you before we begin. So once you have any shapes on your slide and you have it selected, you can click on the Shape Format tab and you'll see the Merge Shapes option here. For it to be available, you do have to select more than one shape at a time. So let's walk through and get started with our first option, which is Union. This option merges together two or more shapes into one new one. So let's go ahead, we have one shape selected. We're gonna hold the shift key and select our second shape. Now pay attention whenever you're using any of these options for merge shapes of the order that you're selecting your shapes because the formatting of the first shape that you select will be applied to the next. So now that we have them selected, let's go into our merge shapes and click union and you'll see we now have one brand new shape. To put this into practice into your next presentation, use this to create a bunch of new shapes in the exact shape that you need, something like this. So let me walk you through how to make that slide in PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and first start out by inserting our shapes. So I'm gonna start with a circle, make sure you hold down the shift key to make that perfect circle. And then we'll go ahead and insert two more shapes here with our rounded rectangles. Excellent. Now that all the shapes are on the slide, let's hold down our shift key, select all of the shapes, and then back in our shape format, we can merge them to union. Excellent, almost there. Let's go ahead and in our format shape tab, instead of doing a solid fill, we're gonna click picture, and we can go ahead and insert one from our files. Excellent. Now you can go ahead and continue editing and formatting to make the slide exactly how you'd like. Next up is combine. This option combines and overlays the parts of the shape that do not match. So anywhere where these two shapes are intersecting will be removed from the shape. So let's go ahead and give it a go. This time I'm gonna select our second shape here as our shape A and this one as our shape B. So hold down our shift key and then we can see the different formatting options because I selected a different shape first. In our merge shapes, this time we'll click combine and you can see that this middle part where they were intersected is now gone and they're blue to match the sh first shape that we selected. A great way to implement this into your PowerPoint presentations is with a very cool title slide. So let's go ahead and make that title slide together. We're gonna go ahead and insert a new big blank side slide here and insert a background image to have. Once that's done, next step is to insert a rectangle that covers the whole entire slide here. And then let's go ahead and make it white and we can also add no outline here. Then we can add our ovals. So in our shapes, let's click on our rounded rectangles here. We want them to be pretty big and click on this yellow dot and we can round those corners even more. Perfect, from there, let's just go ahead and control D to duplicate them. And we'll do that one more time and let's select all of them, give them a nice rotation, and we can go ahead and place them where we'd like. Perfect, now that they're exactly where we'd like them, let's go ahead and select all three of these rounded rectangles, and we're gonna go into our shape format, and we are gonna combine these into one. Now, we're gonna do that one more time, but we're gonna hold our white rectangle first, because we want that format to be applied, and then we can hold down the shift key and select that new shape that we just made with all of those ovals. Now we can click into our shape format and do combine again, and you'll see that it is cut out that places where they intersected. Now you guys can go ahead and add your title and some fun animations. If you wanna learn how to do the animations, take a look at the video linked above. All right, Fragment takes your shapes, chops them up into brand new shapes depending on where they intersect and overlap. So let's go ahead, we can try it out. We'll select our two shapes. Again, pay attention to which one you're selecting first because that formatting will be applied. 
In our merge shapes, we'll go ahead and click fragment and you guys can see that a brand new third shape has been made based on where the two original shapes intersected. There are so many use cases for using fragment in your presentations. You can use it to make a whole bunch of brand new complex shapes or to do fun activities like this puzzle. So let's go ahead and make that puzzle together. Here we have just a plain old image and we're gonna go ahead and insert a rectangle or a square preferably onto your slide, place it right over top. We're gonna remove our outline here and then select your image first, hold down your shift key, select your shape. In our shape format, merge our shapes. We're gonna click fragment and you guys can see that you now have a brand new puzzle piece and you can just repeat that process to make your puzzle. All right, intersect next. This option creates a brand new shape based on where your two original shapes intersect. So this is very similar to fragment. However, it removes all the extra parts and only keeps the part where the two shapes intersect. So let's give it a go here. We can go ahead, hold down our two shapes and we'll merge, we'll click intersect. And you guys see we're just left of the point of the intersection. A great way to implement this into your PowerPoint presentations is with some moving background and some text. So let's go ahead and make that slide together. Here I have a video already placed on my slide. If you guys aren't sure how to add videos into your PowerPoint presentations, take a look at the video linked up above or down below. And then from here, let's go ahead and we can just add our text onto our slide. So I have two different text boxes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and first use one of our other merges here. We're just gonna go ahead, combine these so that they're one. And now we can go ahead, click on our video first, hold down the shift key, select that text that we had. And this time, instead of clicking on our shape format in this tell me what you want me to do box here, we're gonna go ahead and type merge and then go ahead and click our intersect there. And now you can see that our text has that moving background of our video. For one more quick little tip here, you can go ahead and in our format video, like to add a bit of a shadow, that way it makes it really pop. And lastly, we have subtract. So subtract, pretty self-explanatory. It's just gonna take one shape and subtract it from the next. So whichever shape that you select second will be subtracted from that first shape. So in our shape format, we can go ahead, take a peek at what this looks like. A really fun way to use this in your presentations is with images and your shape to get a little peek into something new, especially when it's combined with the morph transition. So let me go ahead, walk you through how to make that one. Let's go ahead, add a new slide here. And we're gonna start with an image as our background. So I have this day and night slide here that we can add, and then we're gonna add a rectangle to cover the whole entire slide. Let's go ahead and change the color a little bit, and we're gonna make this just a little bit bigger. So if you zoom out, we can extend our rectangle just a bit, and now we can insert our peak hole that we want to add. So let's go ahead, add it right onto our slide here. And now we'll click the big rectangle in the back first, hold down your shift key, select that new one, and click subtract. And you'll see that we have a nice peek into the image that we had as our background. You can go ahead and let's add some of our text. Then we can duplicate our whole entire slide. And from here, we can go ahead and move our rectangle just a touch and add in those text boxes one last time. And the last step here, pretty quick, in your transitions tab, just click on morph and you guys can see that nice transition from one side of the image to the next. And that is it. You guys now know how to use PowerPoint's merge shapes and can begin using it in any PowerPoint presentation. Combine it with the morph transition like we did with subtract or any other PowerPoint animations. Take a look at the videos linked up above or down below for more information. If you guys want a bigger tutorial on any one of these merge shape features, let us know down in the comments below. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next video.